Hi there, this is Vina once again and as promised, I am back with another video on best root apps for Android. Now I am not going to explain what is rooting and whether you should root your device or not. But yes, I know many of you guys will be asking me how to root insert your phone model here. And well, there are thousands of Android smartphones in the market and it's not possible for me or any other YouTuber to tell you how to root a particular Android device. But the best advice that I can give you is go to XDA or YouTube and type in how to root your followed by device model number and then follow the instructions. Now I know it's not going to be easy for you but trust me the results are rewarding. So with that being said let's check out some of the best rooting apps for Android. Number 1 Super SU This one is the most obvious app in the list. So what exactly does it do? Well, if you don't have Super SU installed on your device, then every root application that you install on that device will automatically acquire the root permission. But what if you don't want that application to have root access? And well, that's exactly where Super SU comes in. The app is developed by Chainfire, the awesome developer. And basically, Super SU lets you manage the permission for rooted device. You can grant it, deny it, or ask when you open the application. There is also another less known feature that lets you temporarily or permanently unroot a device which is a bit experimental and may not work for every device but for most of the smartphones it does work and it is always something you should know about. Number 2nd Add Away I should probably be the last person to mention Add Away. It kills our business but anyways the app is so good that it would be unfair not to mention it. So basically what it does is, it stops all the ads from your Android browser and application. And it does that by downloading several host files. And the app is pretty good at its job. Though make sure you support your favorite developer if you use an ad blocker. Like you can buy their application, contribute to their Patreon. And even if you cannot do any of that, you can still share their stuff on social media. Number 3rd Boot Animation now this is not exactly a must have application but then what is the point of having a rooted device if you cannot grab some eyeballs so basically what this app does is it changes your boot animation from this to this or this or maybe even this one overall there are handful of animation inside the application some of them are good some of them not so much but it's still better than the default ones Number 4 Quick Reboot So just like the previous application, this one also doesn't do anything revolutionary but it does save your time in long run. So if you have a rooted device then chances are you will be booting into your recovery or even restarting your device several times like while using an exposed modules or using the previous application as well. And what Quick Boot does is it makes the rebooting process a bit easier. So when you open the application, it gives you three options. You can reboot, go to custom recovery or shut down your device. No need to press any physical button. And yes, you can always add more options like rebooting your device to safe mode etc. by going to the system page. Number 5. CF Lumen now, screen filter might not be everyone's cup of tea, especially not mine, whose most of the works are done late night. But there are some people who has got used to this application. So what this app does is, it changes the brightness and color of your screen based on what time it is. So mornings are bright, evenings are orangish, and nights are, well, nights are red. The idea is to avoid you to use your phone at night, and this will help you to sleep better. Yes, there are similar applications for non-root users, like Twilight for say. But that's just a colorful overlay. They don't play with the pixels like CF Lumen. Another irritating thing about them is, since they are our overlay, you cannot tap on the pop-up. And that took me quite some time to figure it out. Number 6. Disk Digger Now most of you already know this. Whenever you delete something from your hard drive, the actual file is not gone. Only the link to that file is deleted. And if you use a good data recovery software, you can easily get it back. Now that happens easily on Windows or Mac. But when it comes to Android, well, it's not that easy. But this digger solves this problem. 
You can recover accidental deleted files from your Android using this application, but obviously you will need root access for that. I have tried it couple of times and it does work with 70-80% accuracy. Not always though. And even if you don't have a rooted device, you can still try this application, but then it will fetch the images from your cache, which is well not that efficient. And the pro version of this application will get you support for videos and audio files as well. Number 7. Drive Droid so if you are the person your friends call you whenever they mess up their computer or need any technical help, then this application is for you. So with DriveDroid, you can boot into any computer and have access to its hard drive directly from your Android device. No need to use a live CD or USB. In fact, the minimum operating system is just 35 MB, which means you can start from the scratch and boot into the OS in less than 10 minutes. If you want to know how to set up this application, then see the link in the description or YouTube cards. I have a tutorial on this. Number 8. Flash Fire So this application solves a serious problem. That is, once you have rooted your Android device, you cannot install the OTA. And even if you do so, it will break down your root access. And this is where Flash Fire comes in. It helps you to flash OTA without breaking the root access. And here is how it works. Download the update just like you normally do, but then don't install it. Instead, open the Flash Fire app and then it will auto delete the OTA and then install it for you without losing the root access. It also comes with other cool options like you can flash your zip file directly from the app. No need to boot into recovery mode. Another great reason to root your Android device is better battery life. And since you have access to your system partition, you can stop all the misbehaving apps. And Greenify will help you do that. Yes, after Android 6.0, there is not much difference left in the rooted and non-rooted version of Greenify. But still, Greenify works more seamlessly in the rooted version. So unlike the popular belief, the app doesn't work by its own. You need to specify the application you want to hibernate. And make sure you pick the application wisely. You don't want to hibernate any application that has a blue cloud in front of it, like your instant messaging app or alarm app. Because there is no point of having a smartphone that lasts 7 days but does nothing. Number 10. Android Manager now this is something I hate about Android. So unlike in iOS, there is no way to completely back up your Android device. Let me tell you what exactly I mean. The iOS takes a complete backup of your device every night, which includes everything. But Android can only take a partial backup and that too needs a third party application. And the only way to take a complete backup of your Android device is an Android backup, which is basically the exact copy of your current operating system, which includes all your app, its data, even of your home screen and settings etc. Now the usual way to take an Android backup is, first you need to boot into your recovery and then start the backup process from there. And this might take few hours, and till that time your phone will not be functional. And the same goes true for the restoration process. But online Android fix that problem. So with this application, you can take the complete Android backup directly from the app. No need to boot into recovery or something. And yes, you can use all the other application while the backup process is going in the background. And in case you are wondering to restore your backup, again, no need to boot into recovery. With apps like an Android manager, you can restore all the backups or part of it directly from the app. Now that's something we call revolutionary app. Number 11. Recently So this is something pretty common. If you press the recent button of your phone, you will see dozens of applications running there. Even if it's some app that you have used a month ago, it will still appear in the recent app list. And with recently, you can fix that. Recently only removes the non-active app. You can also specify the maximum number of applications running in the recent apps. Let's say it's 5 applications, but if the current active applications are 7, then all of them will be there. Overall, this application works without destroying the Android RAM management and gives you a clutter-free experience. Number 12. Titanium Backup It is one of the most powerful backup applications in the Play Store. But unlike an Android manager which can take a backup of complete Android device, a titanium backup can only take the backup of app data and apps. But then why would anyone use a titanium backup? Well, consider this scenario. 
Android is only good if you are moving from same phone of same model. But if you are moving from one phone to another, like if you have brought a new phone, which is obviously have to be rooted as well, then titanium backup makes sense. Though I have to say, the developer needs to work on the UI. It is the same thing that we have from past five years. I mean, look at that. It's scary. But on the brighter side, it is filled with tons of useful features like batch uninstall, freeze application, and backup, obviously. So let me know if you would like me to do a detailed review on this application. Number 13, Netcut. Now I have talked about this application in many of my videos. So this time I won't be getting into much detail. But this is basically a Wi-Fi kill replacement app. And what it does is it kills the internet of any device on your network. But it is also packed with other useful features. Like you can visualize your network and see which devices are there. You can also search the devices on the network by its name or IP address or even generate a fake MAC address which is useful if you are going to use it for hacking of some sort. Number 14 WPS WPA Detector This one is the evil app in the list and honestly I cannot think of any white hat use of this application. But hey if you have gone through the pain of rooting your device then why not enjoy the perks of it. And well, with this application, you can connect to the network and find the Wi-Fi password. In case the router has WPS turn on. I know it's scary, but it is worth knowing that this application exists. So make sure you have disabled the WPS on your router, which is turned on by default in most every router. Also, I would love to make an in-depth video on how to secure your Wi-Fi network. So if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments below. Number 15. Exposed Framework even if you take down all the application from this list, this exposed framework can alone justify rooting your Android. Now unlike the other application, installing exposed framework is a bit tricky. You need to download two files. One is the zip that depends on the type of the processor you have and other is the exposed framework universal APK. Next install the zip file from the custom recovery and then install the APK. Now a few months ago I did a video on fresh exposed module so I won't get into much detail here but from the popular modules like gravity box and boot manager to niche modules like whatsapp Axe or spotify skip exposed can tweak every bit of your android in fact it is one of the best thing that has happened to android well this is all for now it was pretty hard for me to pick up only 15 root application so I am making an updated list of all the best root applications on my blog so far I have 50 on my list and I will keep updating it once I find more. So yeah, if you are looking for some cool new root application, then do check that out. And also let me know what you think in the comment section below. So that's all for now. This is Minal signing off. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Let's see if we can cross 1000 likes this time. And like always, thank you for watching.